There seems to be some kind of disagreement as to when life actually begins. Some say it begins as you take your first breath. Others say it begins sometime in the womb. I like to believe that life begins long before that. You see, God knows us all by name. He knows the steps we'll take and the decisions we'll make long before we're ever created. And you see, while we may disagree about this, we can agree on one thing, and that's we get one chance, one shot, one life. And while we only get one life, sometimes it's important to look back. My name is TJ Nichols, and this is the story of my first 25 years. Before the end of 2007, I was seeing the world differently. While I was playing drums in my first rock band in middle school and causing some shenanigans as the school mascot, I sure felt like the world should see me differently. But as I bought my first computer and joined the world of social media via Facebook, I started to see just how small the world was, and even smaller how I must be. Quite literally, I began seeing the world differently after corrective eye surgery, and part of me wishes I could go back to visit my younger self and expedite the process of knowing then what I know now. I would tell newborn TJ that there was something significant about being born in Benton, Arkansas, and even though I would live in Mississippi and later parts in Texas, I would come back to my home in Benton by the time I could drive. Before I would drive, I would need to learn to run. And before I would run, I would need to learn to walk. And I'd encourage my one-year-old self that I would get my feet underneath me before too long. In fact, I would learn how to dance with the help of my sister Alex, of course, at the age of three, when I also started playing drums. Just like learning how to walk was something for which I would continue developing muscle memory and core strength, there would continue to be other endeavors that would require similar perseverance towards progress. I would start Awanas at four. I would start kindergarten at five. I would start karate at seven, and I would start Boy Scouts at nine. But it would take me until I was 16 to make a profession of faith and be baptized. And it would be 16 years from kindergarten when I graduated college. And long after I reached the black belt in karate, I'd still be using the same principles I learned along the way. After college, I would go on to get my MBA and pass the CPA exam but titles and degrees only carry the weight of a piece of paper. But the measure of a person's character goes beyond what meets the eye. Life is a journey that I see differently now than I once did. Like the time I looked behind my first camera in 1999, or when I started making short films with my first video camera in 2003. Not only did I relish the opportunity to see what was happening in a new way, but I also felt like I was looking into what could be. You see, things were going pretty good. My love and my passion at the time was high school drumline. Our drumline went on to win many championships, including winning first place in an international drumline competition. 2009 was a big year for me, but I struggled to see how I moved from Dallas to Benton in 2009 was the best thing for me as a high school student. My look behind the lens would be an entry to yearbook staff and a renewed passion for photography. I wish I would have known at the time that my first time to play drums with my church's worship band in 2010 would become more important to me than any other drum-related accolade. Between 2010 and 2014, I would have the chance to see new parts of the world through missions and travel. And as I saw the world differently, I still wish I would have known then what I know now. Like how inspiring it would be in 2016 to visit the Henry Davis Foundation in Ecuador. Even if I could have visited myself in 2013 when I started my first production company, I still don't think I would be able to fathom the opportunities I would have coming my way in the years to come. The fact is, I can't edit my life once it's happened, but I can take the steps to live it as a new gift each day. And like learning how to walk for the first time, there's going to be plenty of need for some core strengths like perseverance and perhaps a good sense of humor along the way. Just as much as I have glossed over some highlights, I could also draw attention to some low points and mistakes I've made along the way. But even then, I would still see and believe that life is worth living. Also, as I look over the past 25 years of my life, I see life differently than I once did because of the people involved. Because of you.
As I think about when we first started dating in December of 2015, I now know that I was looking into what could be. The past 25 years of my life have been incredible, and I wouldn't change a thing about it.